Hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 as we continue our game with the Hansa. I've made a little change to how my microphone is set up so hopefully you won't hear that annoying beeping sound that was driving me crazy. Hopefully. One can hope. Um, let me know in the comments if you still hear it. Uh, there shouldn't be any uh, type of um, interference right now so let me know. <coughs> Also, that's concerning the game. We are only waiting for the uh, ships to be built. After they are done, we will invade Bornholm. I can actually just send my army there already. So guess what? We are going to... This guy is a Siege 2 leader. So I'm actually going to take all of them. Or rather, I'm going to take my leader over there. And... Uh, right, you get away get you into the boat, grab you, move you there and you apparently will move to Altmark. I would definitely prefer if it was one that had a leader so we'll do that and let's get the time ticking already and since I've reloaded there will be a couple of things that will change and I have no morale apparently over there. Did I change something? Yeah, I did change the these things. Alright, so stay there for a little while, and then we'll get there. An election, alright, so military candidate, although... Hang on. Yeah, you're not my leader, good. My leader is here. We are going to grab a military one, as usual, and we are going to put him in charge of this army. A good maneuver skill, hopefully we'll get a big bonus. Swedish peasants, so they are getting a little bit of peasants, which is nice. <coughs> I'm going to grab you, set you onto the ships, move you there. How many troops do you have? One? Okay, that's fine. We'll probably be able to defeat them. We still have our general in there. So let's go, this should be fairly easy to win. I'm hoping. 30 of March. God damn it. Alright, so there we go. We have a minus two hit over there, but that's fine, we lost 90 men. That's just fine and dandy. I'm going to move these guys there and then back to Smelland. Apparently one to Tango. Well, not anymore. Okay. We'll use all of these guys to siege, so that we actually get the, bonif the bonus from this. And it's a level 1, so for our left. So I can actually take uh, that one away, but guess what? We are going to uh, keep them there. If only for... Um, well, just in case. Why not? I could definitely take them, but... And it's one less attrition, so yeah, if we are trying to play to the best of our abilities, we definitely do that. Altmart is being converted. You are threatened. Yeah, we will be able to call you to arms, thus breaking that. I'm going to revoke the guarantee though. There we go. Yeah, now we have a truce until 60, 62. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, Siege of Warnholm is over. <coughs> right. So we have claims on Black Inge and Island, correct? We don't have a claim there, if I'm not mistaken. Reduce unit boxes. Pretty, uh, please. Okay. Let's see for peace. We'll see what we have, anyhow. Apparently, they actually occupy that. No, I only want these two. And that'll be a crap ton of grass expansion. I'm not going to reduce that. I'm going to make them in all treaties. And I'm going to force them to be reformed. That'll be it. I'm not going to do anything else. We are already over the limit, so... There we go. You can keep your capital, Denmark, for now. Get these guys away from there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to start to core in the conquest, and I'm going to start to core this one as well. This guy will be around here just to support over here. We are losing a ton of little money. Uh, it's the, the reinforcements, so that's fine. I'm going to merge you. You, however, I'm going to send you to patrol in Antwerp. About time we get there again. 
I'm actually going to get a little bit more carvels because we need them. What's the claim on Island? Well, we are guarding it already, so that's fine. And yes, that was a mistake from my part. I actually planned to call them to arms against Denmark, but that will mean that we need to fabricate a claim probably against Sweden, and it will we will do those things again. My only problem was... No, I'm not going to use it. My only problem was that I forgot to revoke the guarantee as soon as that was done. But that is fine. We will be getting there again soon. Now, let me actually take a look at the coalition. How much aggressive expansion? 56. It's not actually that bad. Burgundy, 14. So yeah, we can definitely go against Burgundy next. With that in mind, I'm going to improve relations with them to the maximum. I know it won't make a hell of a lot of a difference, but oh well. Also going to improve relations with France. We can apparently finally take the last idea, which will give us uh, discipline and the ability to force march, as well as interest per annum and trade efficiency. Which is nice because we've fulfilled all of these missions, all of these ideas, and s as such we should see a big jump. Yeah, four more gold. Okay, now we can flee the city, which will lose stability. We can uh, spend money or lose diplo points. I'm going to lose diplo points. We are <laughs> ahead of time, anyhow, and really ahead of time. So that's fine. Okay, now we'll keep trying to tech up as soon as we can and we'll take this opportunity to actually build a couple of buildings I'm going to reduce a little bit our inflation and that actually worried me for a second there right, no, not inflation, I'm going to lower our maintenance in the army so that we can actually build a little bit more buildings a couple more buildings are always nice courthouses, those will be handy let me tell you we're carrying that so we won't actually be able to take that. That is being converted. Yeah, I could have built this first. Spy agency already have it there. No, I don't. I need a courthouse first. Right, so guess what? We'll build that first and foremost. There we go. We have constables that will give me a tiny little bit of money. Uh, yeah, the only bonus for me to actually pursue this this the counting house right now is a little bit weird I'm going to explain the maximum discount that you have is 0 0.1 that's 10 percent however to get those 10 percent you need to have um you need to have hang on let me just you need to have built counting houses all over your country so uh, if you have, for instance, you have 10 provinces, you only have it built on one, you multiply those 0.10% uh, times the 0 0.1, so that means you get a reduction of 0 0.01. Lovely, isn't it? It's almost nothing. So it doesn't really pay to have uh, the counting houses unless you're a small nation and you actually build it as soon as possible. We are not playing as a small nation, actually we are kind of small yet, but we are growing by the year. Well, by the war. It's probably more accurate. So that's that's that. I hope I make myself uh I hope I made myself clear on that. So for instance we have a couple of provinces. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well it's probably a better way to check this. Country. Provinces not here. Uh, number of provinces. There we go. Uh, I don't care for the for Austria. So we have 28 provinces. We would have to build 28. Um, we can actually get these guys away from here. We would have to build 28 counting houses to have the discount of 0 0.1. How great is that? Not great. Not that great, I tell you. So yeah. The only w the only reason to build a counting house is right now, in my opinion, to get to the local regiment cost minus 20%. And if you want production and 
And this one right here is useful. The others, not so much. Alright, so we have cored them both. No, can I build that? Not yet. Temples, however, are good. Although we have uh, minus zero point minus four percent in a taxation, which is a bit annoying. And I can actually get this guy away from here because I don't need it anymore. Those that modifier, I don't need it as high, and I need a little bit more money so I can build more. So let's do it. Let's do it. And look at that. That is beautiful. Can actually increase a little bit our our army and our fleet as well. Might actually get there, get that done soon. Yeah, as Revolik, you don't have a need for um, you don't have a need for uh, monarch points. Usually, as a rule, you don't need them. Okay, so. We definitely want to build something in East Frisia. That means this one, and then we'll build the road network. That is the only one that is part of this train node. However, I will want to build over here as well, so let's get that done. Let's build. Uh, I don't have enough money for that. Well, we'll wait one month. So that we can forward a little bit more trade over here. Because right now we pretty much control every uh, trade power. Well, every little bit of trade power over here. Brandenburg is actually the set, the next one. Leipzig revolted. How about that? Yeah, I wanted to send my army there and I forgot. Right, I'm going to let them attach to my army. They should get here. Apparently I'm wrong. France. I'm going to maintain the diplomat. We don't have uh, that... Uh, we're not that troublesome now. I'm going to increase the maintenance just to fight that. Just so we are at full morale before we actually in invade these guys. One, two, three, one, one, three. Yeah, that's probably a better one out there. Two, three, and two, three, four. Yeah, probably you. Just going to switch th uh, these things around. There we go. There we go. Now let's move. Still not at full maintenance though. Twenty fourth. Nope. Now you. Yeah, there we go. There'll be a tick. And we'll be fine. And there we go. Our discipline kicking in. We lost all mercs, so I'm pleased with this. I'm actually going to station my troops over here because that we have a little bit of a revolt risk. Lakinj is apparently the one that is most troublesome. Uh, I don't have a missionary to convert though. Instruments in the church. Lose 10 points of fervor. How many do we have? 100. Hmm. 85. So for 25 years now, no. We are going to ignore this. We are gaining a crap ton of fervor points anyhow. So we will definitely get that. Jesus, 10 more years. Lose a navy tradition. Do I have the missionary guy over here? No, and I don't have one. Lovely. Don't have inflation, do I? No, good. Revolt risks. Howland. Altmark. How are we? Yeah, we probably need this army around here. Because we have troops minus five. Yep. Leipzig to Protestant. Yeah, that's normal. Even though it won't actually matter all that much because we have tolerance. So. It's. It's not that bad. Our tolerance is two, so it's fine. And the religious turmoil, yes, okay, good for you. The trial, so gain Republican tradition. Yeah, we can at this point actually do this. So yeah, conquer Thuringian. Yeah, we want to conquer that. But for that, I need to break the alliance, and I don't want them joining the coalition. I think they're only allied with me though, yep. Yeah. We'll wait. We have the time. We need to burn off a little bit of our aggressive expansion anyhow. I'm going to get trade focus again. Why not? Still building that. Still building this. 
I need to build a, a marketplace there. This is being built over here. Well, sure, it's cheap anyhow. Oh, there's a missionary working there. Never mind. And over here, over here, I can't. Good. Alan, you should have that. Yeah. Good. It's all going fine. Let's actually build a little bit more uh, of armories and whatnot, so a little bit more manpower will come in handy. 31, yeah, we'll build in the 31s. Where we have full, uh, full manpower. France against Burgundy again. This time around I'm actually going to make a separate piece. If this is the case. Now I do have full maintenance. Yes, I think I do. So I'm going to let my uh, guys do everything. And actually Spain is the war leader. Amazingly. We'll see what we have to deal with. 28,000 troops. Yeah, France got them. Okay, so this will be a long war. I need to occupy Gelver and Oland, and I need to dock my fleet. Yeah, go home while at war. I need to dock it. That is really no question. I'm going to hire a military candidate again, even though right now it doesn't really matter. But I would like to keep up with military technology. Well, it, it turns to the buildings that I want to build right now. Because that is... how long? Nine years ahead. Yeah, we are definitely fine. We'll be able to take this in six years. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And that is the, the, the uh, 930. So, I want to probably build a little bit more either trade, but trade we are fine right now. Or we want to stock up in, uh, in main points. Because spy agency would actually matter a whole lot. So I might actually go for a uh, bureaucrat candidate. Yeah, We'll go for a bureaucrat right now. Why not? I'm going to Keep turning in, turning them into leaders, though. If they die whilst uh, they are military leader, you don't actually take um, stability hits, so that's why I do that. I think I have one. Yeah, don't attach. Just go and siege. Probably take one guy away, though. How much would it cost me to bump up the stability? 82, so I might actually just pull that off. Oh! I didn't mean to click the second one, damn it. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We will we will at least convert this a little bit faster. 1.5 because of the stability. So we have that going for us at least. I'm going to send my army there. Scotland is apparently in the war as well, so we might actually have sea supremacy. No, we don't. Never mind. I did say nothing. You are not the siege leader, though. I think the siege is this... nope. Is this one. Yeah, no leader. I'm going to detach a siege, grab the other ones. Just for a little bit. And they are actually trying to take advantage of it. Well, that will be fine. Let's get the siege and move it back in. Yeah. They switched their tone. They changed their tone. Let's actually move these guys away as well. 1.2 revolt, that's not bad. 1.6. Uh, friendly troops still. I don't actually see it, so yeah, that's fine. Just as a security, I'll have these troops around here. I'm going to occupy Gelber because that is the province that we have the claim on. Although, yeah, probably will expire soon. Hopefully France this time around actually gives something to us. We'll have to butt heads with France sooner or later for a little bit later so I can prepare myself and actually leave the aggressive expansion to burn a bit a little bit. We only have 58 now so that's good. With Brandenburg we shouldn't have any. And any. With Austria 
46. So yeah, the aggressive expansion is moving away quite nicely. With Burgundy, we can actually declare a war soon because they will leave the coalition. They are threatened after all. And as soon as they get the... And, and they are in the coalition against France. Oh, that it kind of explains it. Siege of Calver is over. Let's move over there. I'm going to move these guys to Breda. So we'll have two sieges going at once. But they will be able to support themselves. And since we have... We are fine in manpower and I, I am able to pull this off. We have we have money to pull this off, so why not do it? And since these are mercs, I'm really not worried about having my entire army there. Definitely want a sure Poland. What are you fighting, by the way? Austria S. Sure, good luck with that. Really, this is... Blob Universalis in this game. Milan left. Good. A couple of people are leaving the coalition already. Good going. 66,000. This is a big battle and will not be part of it. Hmm. Scotland will lose that battle. Yeah, fairly, fairly, fairly standard. Foreign trade competition rises. Will impu impose new tariff. That means more mercantilism. That means more money for us. Because if you notice, we have the provincial trade mo power modifier, and mercantilism actually helps with that. So plus 93%. That is so good. I cannot express how good that is. And I kind of forgot to add another guy there. Oh well. Uh, what is my individual war score with. Yeah. We won't be able to make separate pieces in this war, which will be annoying to say the least. At least we'll occupy pretty much everything uh, up in the northern part. Friesland is still under Austria. We will get there. We will get to Friesland sooner or later. We'll move there. Right, so Breda actually finished as well. I'm going to siege both these Zealand and uh, Antwerp. This is their capital and that is something else. This is actually to take Namur, so they can't make separate these. They will have to deal with Spain. Uh, and, yeah. Should have put an army there, friends. They really should. Because now, Castile is invading. Trade speed against Sweden. Yeah, that's another thing. I definitely want to go there as well. Get the Baltic coast. And then butt heads with Muscovy a little bit as well. Yeah, we have a couple of things that we can do. Merchants pleased. Awesome, more money. What kind? What type of unique buildings do I have? Let's build the stability cost. This hopefully will pay for itself. We're already winning that. The war goal is Breda. That means... Where's Breda? Oh, right there. Is that war? No, Namur. No, what the hell am I thinking? So I need to take that from France. I cannot let them take that, because they will definitely take that one. And I don't want them to do it. Although they have a claim there. They have a core there. They have a claim there. Claim there. Probably have a claim in Brabant as well then. Yep. Pretty much claimed everything. Well, Metz they didn't. Burgoyne, that's claim. That's, cla that's actually a core. Is Namur a core? No, it's a claim. Siege of Zealand is over. Right, let's move th through Breda and then... Actually, we'll move through... Hang on. Breda and then Brabant. Let's see what we can do there. And it's actually past time that I put a cut in the episode, so I will do so. Where we have quite a nice amount of money stocked up so we will be building a whole lot in a couple of episodes that will follow because I want to bolster my admin rank and my money making machine that is the Hansa and later on will be the Merchant Republic of Germany so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed put a thumbs up if you want to see more of the Hansa LP put a thumbs up and until next time do take care and goodbye